save your tears. The world's better off without them. What about you? Me? I've been dead a long time. Would you stop your snivelling and be a man about this? She'd come easily enough. Quiet. Not a breath or it'll be your last. My mum was on the drive. If you let us go, we could say that what happened to him was an accident, self-defence or something. She ain't going away, Tony. You're on that time. She'll have had the gunshot. The police are probably on the way. She doesn't sound like someone who's out shooting. She's there, mate. What she do? Exactly. No. What I see. What are you doing? Ow! You are going to get rid of her, or I get rid of you. Go! <laughs> Oh, my sunshine, my only son. No. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. A -L -A, I know what you want. I know what you want. Hey, heaven, all right? Oh, what does it sound like? Have you seen a ziggle piggle? Huh? Oh, it's a doll here. Hey, that's a lot of noise for a little fella like you, isn't it? Huh? If you're my size, they'd hear you back in Ireland. Hey. <sighs> 20 minutes I've been trying to settle him. Hey, it's the ah. accent. Reminds him of home. Yeah, well, maybe I should have poured him a Guinness. Has he been fed? I don't know, Maria never said. Well, there you go, he's probably hungry. Oh. And you holding him is not taking his mind off things, is it? Hey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just an observation here. Oh. Hey, I better get to work. If you need anything, just give us a holler. See ya. <sighs> See ya later. Yeah, well, Mummy will be back in a minute, won't she? Hey? Yeah. Look, until we dissolve lad rags, me and you are still partners. And I'm sure you don't like that any more than I do. Look, it'll have to wait, Maria. I'm really sorry. I can't do this now. Well, you're going to have to, because I'm flying back to Ireland tomorrow and I want to get it sorted. I'm sick of you calling the shops and dodging my calls. I've meant to get back to you. I've just been a bit tied up. Look, I'm sorry, Maria. I'm busy. I've got to go. You don't know where, Carla. I want this done with today. Ron is here. He's got a gun. What? Ron! No! 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 Shh, 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 shh. I'm so sorry you had to see this. But I promise you, you'll be fine. Absolutely fine. You hear that? What? Uh, Sounded like a scream or something. It's probably a cat. Or mum in a cell. I won't blame her. I'm thinking like that isn't going to help, is well, it? Nothing's going to help. Not now. I suppose I could get windows to bake her a cake and maybe stick a file in there. And Carla's in. Might pop in for a quick catch-up. How can you even think about work? Mum's going to prison, she might never get out. But no, you get off to your precious little knicker factory. Drink this down, it'll make you feel better. I thought you were an island. What are you doing back here? You're asking me that? You were saving life? I had unfinished business. But I never meant for you to get dragged into this, you have to believe me. So then let me go. I will, I promise. You can walk out that door as soon as I'm done. Don't, Maria, please. Don't do something they'll regret. What do you want from me, Tony? Everything. Everything I can't have. Everything I, I can't have now, thanks to my guests. So here I am, and here they are, accounts to settle. It's Michelle. Turn it off. I said kill it! Thank you. 
After everything else I've put you through, I'd hate to lay that on you as well. Tony Gordon out on the loose. I'll be double locking my door tonight. I don't blame you. He would not forgot that time you give him bourbon greens instead of digestive. <laughs> I'm sure he'd have thought a nout else since he's been inside. He'd be like that Robert De Niro in Cape Fear. Yeah. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. He can strike any time, anywhere. He is a fundamentally irrational man. Talk about pot and kettle. <laughs> if you want something to worry about, what about looming unemployment? Aren't you being a bit previous? Carla and Nick said our jobs are safe. More Tisha and Max Headroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. They wouldn't dream of telling Forkies, would they? The order book's been thin before. At least the building work's getting done. I don't know so much. Why, what have you heard? Well, we saw Jace earlier. Reckons that Carla's told him and Bill to down tools. How long for? Oh. <sighs> I'm guessing those aren't tears of joy. What happened? What didn't happen? More like our star witness didn't turn up. And by the time they finished with David, I wish he had either. Come on, don't give up yet. You don't know what the jury made of things. Well, I can put myself in their shoes. And I know who I believe. It's her and Tina that'll send me down. At least I can understand Tina's motive. She wants to blame somebody, lash out, but Tracy, why would she do this to me? <laughs> Michelle's looking after Liam. She'll be worried if I'm not back soon. Liam's with you? Yeah. Yeah, Michelle knows that I was coming here, so she'll come looking. Don't waste your breath, love. He's more deranged than he was before, and that's saying something. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! I've had just about enough of your empty-headed chatter for one day. <sighs> How do you handle it, Haley? <sighs> Spit it out. It's not going to affect your promotion prospects, I can guarantee that. I like working with Carla. I think she's a very shrewd businesswoman. With a capital shrew! <laughs> Who cares about intelligence when you look like her? Still there was some drilling sap. Willing to fund her latest flight of fancy. Businesswoman. You're nothing but a parasite. Mm, still managed to fool you for a year, though, didn't I? God! You're not boasting about that! I think we all know who had the last laugh. Well, maybe not the last. I would love to put a bullet right through your brain. <laughs> but I don't think I might get a shot, even from this don't rain. Don't me, please! If you can't anything for me and the baby... I'm sorry. Even now she brings out the worst in me. You're everything she never was. Took me places I could only... How is he? Liam, is he settling in? Yeah. Uh, he likes it. Barry and Helen, smothering you. Yeah, well, you know what it's like. At least I'm never short of a babysitter. Go out a lot, do you? Well, only see the pictures occasionally, you know, on my own, like. But he's growing. Got some pictures on my mobile if you want to. Oh, please. <sighs> Still likes ice cream, I see. Still no better eating it, though. You had to throw that top away. <laughs> Have you still got that picture from Chester Zoo when he snatched the cornet out of my hand? <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. Can you show me the more recent ones? Oh, look at him. Look how he's grown. He must be twice the size. He'll be kicking a football before long, eh? How time passes. Let me answer it, please, Tommy. Come on, we can stop this now for everyone's sake.
Maybe it went better than you thought. And maybe there's fairies living at the bottom of the garden. Why don't you go play with them? Hey, hey, that's enough. Apologise. Sorry. Can't change the situation. There's no point dwelling on it. It is what it is. No one's to blame. Well, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? Hmm. I thought I saw a fairy once on our sideboard, bold as brass. Mind you, I was making a model of a golden hind at the time in a poorly ventilated room. <laughs> David. So I'll keep an eye. Mm. Was it really that bad? Honestly. Mum was shredded, and our star witness did a runner. <laughs> I meant the casserole, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Really good. You don't have to say that. I do. And a lot more besides. I've seen preoccupied or ungrateful. I'm sorry. You've had a rough time. Maybe, but I couldn't have got through it without you. Give over. <laughs> That's what partners are for. Mm, not entirely. <laughs> oh, put your glad rags on. We're going into town. Are you sure? Tomorrow's... A good day for a hangover. It'd be either so bad... It won't matter, or so good, I won't feel it. Go on. Yay! <laughs> I'm not surprised we've heard now state of that application. There were a couple of little marks. It's what we put on the forms that count. Yeah, and it was your flaming dinner. There were chip grease, pickled onion vinegar, brown sauce. If it were a tablecloth, I'd have chucked it. Do you really think they're going to write us off as parents because of a blob of HP? Or it two? were careless. And that's one thing we can't afford to be. You sound like my troop sergeant. Hey! hey! Gary, look, All what right. are you doing here? I'm waiting for my dad's put his hand in his pocket. Look, could die of thirsty, you know? Oh. I hope there aren't a couple of red caps waiting over the road. Oh, relax, I'm on leave, Dad. But I'd surprise you. That's how we do it in the forces, you know. <laughs> no wonder Liberace never joined up. Pint of lager over here, mate. We're one of our brave boys defending Queen and country. Should be on the house, I reckon. As an ex-serviceman myself, I salute you. As a barman, that'll be 220. I'm bowing for tea. I'm sorry. I had time to go shopping. I'm not blaming you. So I hope you can pick some up from Devs. If you think I'm going home cooking, I'll get some chips. See, I know it's been difficult for you, but you can't keep doing this to yourself. You're not going to do yourself any favours. I'll be OK. Well, she's banged up for good. Will you? I mean, deep down, do you honestly think Gail did it? Everything says she's guilty. She says she's guilty. They lied to me over and over, so don't you go telling me that Gail Platt is innocent. Not now, not ever. I'm home! No thanks to so-called progress. Locomotive failure outside Huddersfield. Hayley. Hayley? Yeah, yeah, it, it should be about you. There's a jar of food in his nappy bag and um, a beaker of juice. Cheers, Michelle. Um, we've not really had a chance to talk properly yet. All right, thanks. See you later, bye. Sorry, Hilly. I'm guessing your life means more to Maria than my ex-wife's does. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. But not even the woman who heard my confession then turned tail and ran. You deserve an explanation, Maria. You think I'm having that conversation now? As opposed to when? I think you'll find further opportunities somewhat limited. I mean, I tried to do the right thing today, but that barrister couldn't have made it sound as though it were more wrong. Because it's not about the truth, is it? It's about the game we've lost. It's not your fault, mate. It's like you said, it's just the system and that. Oi! What are you doing? I need to talk to her. I can say what? Hey, this isn't the time, mate. Neither of you are in the right frame. Well, of... there's no justice to be had in court. Tina, I need a word, please. I've got two for you in the nut, are you? In that one word? I'll tell you what, why don't you go home and lock it up? We need a minute. I don't worry. You won't even take that long. Are you sure you'll be all right? Yeah. Sorry. 
So? Can we sit down? So what are you doing with your time off? I don't know. I thought I might have a change round at my place. What, for a fortnight? Where do you live, Tatton Park? <laughs> it's not like I can go away. Last time I went on holiday on my own, I came back with Kirk. <laughs> Point taken. I don't know, I might bob myself down to London for a little trip. You never know. I might bump into Violet. Or the Queen, or the Prime Minister, or Austin Flaming Powers. <laughs> yeah, you must admit, Sean, that is one skinny little needle in a very fat haystack. Well, I know it's a long shot, but I tell you what, it beats pushing a settee from one side of a bedsit to another. A uh, studio apartment, and it's more of a futon, actually, if you must tell. Yeah, it's been so far, thank you. All right, what were you like? Different to her. I got lost on safari once. There was lions and all sorts. I didn't get eaten, though. No, I think they're more keen on me than veg. Hey, you had a don't slip to your old lasses, have you? No fear. You just worry about Carla. I ain't got no fear on that score, lads. I'm just keeping you done for your sakes. <laughs> yeah, right. Carla's more frightening than Claire and Molly put together. <laughs> not to me. In fact, I'm going to tell her tonight I'll have a chicken dance sack. Hopefully I'll be able to persuade her not to blab to your old ladies. All right, it was only pulling your leg, Trev. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, boys. The gun has been laid down. I'm not going to leave you there for folk to trip over. You don't want to be bothering with all that now. Not the way things are at fat, eh? Maybe you're right. I'll think about it on the way to the curry house. So you can hate me, blame me for everything that's ever gone wrong in your life, but me mum's innocent. Is that it? Is that what you needed me to hear? It's what I need you to believe. Why would I believe a word that you say? The bloke who sent me flowers and texts off my dad and all along he was like... The but I didn't bottom. know, did I? And I was trying to reassure you. You were lying to cover your tracks. To save your own skin, as per. No. Yes, oh. but not, not what you think, Tina. I was trying to protect Joe as well. I'm telling you the truth. You have to see that. Why, David? I have given my evidence. The jury's out. It doesn't matter what I think anymore. It does to me. Please, Tina. I, I just want someone to know what happened. And I want my dad back. If I could wind the clock back so we never met, so they never met, I'd do it like that. But it's not going to happen. I just, I just have to get over it. So do you. I need to go. Liam will be missing me. Please, Tony. I told you, you wouldn't be harmed. How can I believe that with him lying out there? Hayley and Carla are all tied up. Maria, the difference between you and them is the difference between everything and nothing. Well, as a favour to me then, let them go. Let us all go. They don't deserve this. You're a special girl. Of course you'll forgive. But this justice is as much for you as it is for me, maybe more. Carla said this coming a long time. Hayley's done now. Fair enough. But Roy Cropper, on the other hand, guilty as charged. All he did was tell the truth. And I hope that'll be some consolation to him in the lonely years of grief and self-recrimination ahead. Think yourselves lucky your pain will soon be over. What about my pain? Every time I think of put all this behind me, you come back to... Not after tonight. Carla's taken most of what I had, but I've got one or two assets salted away. I've willed those to Liam. Oh, as if she'd want anything contaminated by you. Didn't stop you. Think of it as compensation. Something in return for everything you've done for me. The time we spent was the only part of my life worth living. And now it's been taken away. I never stopped loving you or the baby. If you meant that, then you'd let me go home to him. Soon. Now. Keep walking and I'll blow Carla's head clean off. Alien Mia is as good as dead anyway. Go on, save yourself. Maria! Touch that door and I will. No, you won't.
You did the right thing letting her go, you know. When I want your approval, I'll ask for it. Oh, come on, Tony, it's obvious you love Maria. Are you really going to turn this into an even bigger trauma for her? Be sirens any minute. If you want to get away, this is your last get chance. Get away? You never could see the big picture. Allow me to illuminate you. What are you doing? They say that revenge is a dish best served cold. No. It's better off flumbing. Oh, my God. You see, Carla, I think it's time we acclimatise. <gasps> it's going to be awful hot where we're going. <gasps> Will Gale go down? Go to itv.com slash Cory to watch two alternative endings. Cory's back Wednesday at 8. My son is in custody, Sean O'Connor. He's only 15. Father and son is next tonight here on ITV1. <laughs>